Hello Year 6, welcome to Hitchin Boys School. What we're going to do today is film a virtual tour of the school because obviously you're unable to join us on the 9th of July for your main transition day in person. So we want to try and get as much of that information out to you as we can virtually. Uh, we won't be able to do it all, so some of that information you'll still get on your first day when we'll do the main transition day, the physical parts on your first day, which we hope will be the 2nd of September. Um, but today we're lucky because the caretaker has opened up the school for us to go around and see all the key areas that you'll become very, very familiar with. Uh, we've got our gloves on so that we don't affect the deep clean that's happened around the school. Uh, and this way we can show you everything you need to know. Uh, we're very, very excited about you joining us uh, and becoming part of our community and hopefully you're excited to do that as well. So let's start our tour. Okay, so it's just a short walk to this gate here, uh, and this is where the year sevens and eights will be expected to enter uh, every single day. So on your first day, on the 2nd of September, we hope, this is where you will come, uh, where you'll be met by staff, and also we hope some prefects, we're trying to organise our prefects appointments virtually as well. Uh, you'll be met by uh, them and shepherded into the year seven playground. So next year, that up there is where you'll be, and down here is where the year eight playground is. So we keep the year seven and eight playgrounds very separate from the rest of the school for you. And when you arrive on the 2nd of September, your parents will stay here. They're not allowed to cross into the threshold, I'm afraid. And it's just you that will cross into the boys' school. So let's go and have a look at your playground. So it's yet another short walk, as you can see, into the Year 7 playground. Uh, this is a new bit of hard surface tarmac that we've had in the last couple of years as a result of our, our expansion that's happening. Uh, you are the third year of our expansion, um, so in, 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 in that vein we needed more hard space, particularly for you to have an area to play around when it's wet and the fields are closed, and so this is purely for Year 7s. Uh, if you look just here we've got the junior block, what we call the J block, uh, and that is where all of the Year 7 form rooms will be. It's also where the English department have all their lessons. So once form time ends at 10 past 9, uh, you go off to your lessons, wherever that may be around the school, and it could be all the way the other side of the school in science, or it could, if you're really lucky some days, actually be English period 1 in the J block. Uh, so what will happen when you, when you arrive, um, you'll be in, invited to line up in your form rooms, uh, form group, sorry, uh, where you'll then hear from myself and the head of year, Miss Brinkley, and then we'll head off into the sort of junior block to your form room. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the J, the J Block. We've actually entered at the back because that's the nearest access point to the Year 7 playground, although the main entrance is directly down this corridor to the front there, um, which is where students will enter for lessons throughout the day. So uh, in the morning, this is the only time we use this, 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 this entrance here. Um, this junior block replaced the old J Block um, and opened brand new as it is now, in January 2019. The new block actually hosts nine classrooms, whereas the old J block was only five classrooms. So it has really helped us uh, fulfill the capacity for the expansion. Um, it's also one of the big benefits of it is it's got the much wider corridors, which really helps with the flow of students between lessons and around the school. Um, so this is one of the big features of all our new new builds is, is the much wider corridors. Uh, we've also built this new J block with two staircases and we use this staircase for going up 
and we use the other staircase which we'll see a little later for coming down and that way we try and make sure that the flow of students and staff around the building is as safe as possible. Uh, we're also going to have a little look in one or two of the classrooms as you go and have a look around uh, the building and you may also catch sight of my office as well. So let's go. Okay, so we're just going to go into one of the form rooms here. So here in J Block, we have um, all eight form rooms for, for Year 7. Uh, and this is where you'll spend uh, your mornings with your form tutor, doing some pastoral activities and having a register and hearing some key information. Your form tutor is also somebody who you can go to, to tell them of any concerns you might have, whether it's concerns with a particular piece of homework or, or anything more broader about your pastoral care. Um, your form room is therefore quite an important uh, part of your daily routine and when you're not using your form in the morning you'll be having an assembly and we'll talk a bit more about those at a later date um, but yeah let's go and let's go and see the rest of J Block. Okay so having seen what a classroom looks like normally I thought it also might be really useful for you to see possibly what they might look like a little bit come September and certainly what they're looking like now as we've welcomed back the year 10s and 12s for some face-to-face -face time. So if we have a look in J2, which is next to the classroom we've just been in, we can see we've got the sanitation station all, all uh, prompt at the entrance to the classroom and obviously they're a little bit more spaced out for the students to be two metres apart. We are desperately hoping that, that the government will uh, look into that over the coming weeks uh, and notably change the, the social distancing, if safe to do so, uh, down to uh, a lower um, distance, perhaps one metre, and that way we can welcome lots more of you to our school in, in September. But as we say, we're only going to be able to do that if it's safe to do so, but we, we, uh, we certainly want to see all of you uh, on the 2nd of September, um, all bright and shiny in your new uniforms. Okay, let's continue. This is our newest building and one where you will have a whole range of subjects. So in this building you're going to have music, geography, history, RE and later on if you, if you stay on for A-level you may even have subjects such as sociology, psychology uh, as well. Um, it's also the home of drama. So as well as our 12 classrooms here we also have an auditorium which we'll show you in just a moment. But it's also home to our pastoral office for years seven and eight. So this is where you will find um, your head of year uh, seven, which will be Mr. Brinkley, and also I have my head of year eight here, Miss Carville as well, and our pastoral support worker for years seven and eight, Miss Barnes. Hi, I'm Mrs Brinkley. I'm going to be your head of year and um, when you join us at Hitchin Boys in September. Um, I have been the assistant head of year seven for the last year and I was a form tutor in year seven the year before that. So this is my third time doing year seven. Um, I'm also a science teacher and I specialise in chemistry. Hello boys, I am Miss Marks. I am your assistant head of year seven uh, when you join us here in September. 
I am also a maths teacher here at the boys school so more often than not you will find me in the maths corridor. I will be a form tutor for some of you next year but as of yet I don't know which form that will be. Um, I will also be running the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Can't wait to see you. Hello, I'm Miss Barnson. I share this office with your Head of Year, who will be Miss Brinkley, and also Head of Year 8, Miss Cavill. Um, you can come and find me at break or lunchtime. I don't teach here. I am just here to support you. So any worries that you're having, any difficulties that you're having moving about the school, uh, come and find me and I'm always here to help. So welcome to the classroom areas of the new pavilion. Uh, as you can probably tell, we've actually stopped outside geography, judging by this fantastic world map we've got and some of the displays we've got of some of the trips that the geography department will do and along with lots of other departments uh, that offer trips here at Hitchin Boys School. We do hope you take off, uh, as much opportunity those as you're able to. Um, so this is, every classroom in this new building is kitted out with projectors, visualisers, um, so that you've got every opportunity to learn from your subject specialist teachers in the best way that you can. And that's one of the big differences, as I'm sure you're aware, with secondary school, is you're going to be learning from different subject specialists uh, throughout the day. So whereas ordinarily at primary school you might have the same uh, year six teacher for most of the day, here in secondary school you're going to have five different lessons each day. And that's going to be with five different teachers, all subject specialists for that particular discipline. Okay. So one of the areas we're always most proud of here at Hitchin Boys School is the drama and creative arts that goes on in the school. And our new auditorium is arguably one of the flagship new developments we've had in the last couple of years. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. So as you can see, we've got a fantastic space here uh, with all the lights, there's a sound and mixing desk uh, room up there. Um, you've got a retractable seating so that if you're not actually having a performance or an assembly, then you can obviously increase the space for other activities. Uh, this is where we have our annual performance run by Miss Gale, our lead teacher in drama and head of faculty for creative arts. But it's also where once a, once a fortnight, year sevens will have a year group assembly. So year sevens will enter here and hear from Miss Brinkley or myself or on a rotor, different form tutors about different issues that might be happening that week or in the world at that particular time. Uh, so this is, this is one of the areas where we have assemblies as well as drama. Okay, so just before we leave the new pavilion, uh, one of the other subjects that you have here that I may have mentioned is music, and we do have two specialist music rooms and lots of instrumental rooms where you can book to have lessons, uh, which you can do using the forms that we've posted uh, online on our website. Uh, music is a massive part of life here at Hitchin Boys, and we hold concerts regularly, uh, every term, so autumn, spring, summer concerts, as well as supporting the drama performances and other events uh, such as um, you know mini mini performances in the market square when it comes to comic relief sport relief uh, etc and of course the big founders day that takes place on the last friday of, of every uh, uh, of every june when we celebrate the four main founders of hitching boy school uh, the other thing we're really proud of is the pe and we'll go and talk about that in front of the main fields so 
as you can see, we are very fortunate here at Hitchin Boys to benefit from a rather large area of playing field. And there's another one just behind those trees that we call the Russell Field. Uh, we won't walk all the, all the way there today, but just you can see the vast area we have for you to hopefully socially distance and spread out when it comes to September. Uh, in the distance, we can also see the AstroTurf. Uh, that used to be the home of Blue Hearts Hockey. They've now moved. Uh, but we are able to benefit from that area all the time as well for our PE lessons. Obviously rugby, you can see the cricket nets. Uh, so there's a huge range of sports on offer at Hitchin Boys. But of course, when it comes to break and lunch, the most popular sport being played in the fields is football. Uh, so we're quite uh, happy that when it comes to the curriculum, we offer you opportunities to do lots of different sports. Okay, so just behind me over there, you see a wooden circular structure. That's our outdoor classroom that's been provided for us by the Parent Society. Um, it is one of the many resources that we have been fortunate enough to um, benefit from, from the, the, the lovely Parent Society that helped Hitchin Boys School. And if you would like to get involved in the Parent Society, there's leaflets we provided online for you to inquire about, seeing how you go about doing that because without their support, we wouldn't be having structures such as our brand new grand piano or um, the outdoor classroom. Okay, this is North Court. Uh, which is the playground dedicated to years 10 and 11 and just around to the right over there which you won't be able to quite see from this angle is the year 9 playground so this is very much an area for the older students and as you hopefully can tell we're quite far from the year 7 8 playground so the fact we have quite separate playgrounds geographically does give our year 7s and 8s that little bit of peace and space uh, to, to sort of develop and, and transition into Hitchin Boys Schools. Uh, we also have our lockers. Uh, we've got lockers in a few other places as well, but this is where you find the majority of the lockers. And again, if you haven't already been able to procure a locker, uh, you can do so using the form that's on the, on the website. Uh, and it's all done by a separate company, so it's not run by Hitchin Boys. It's, it's all a, a, a third party provider. Okay, so from Northcourt, we've also got food tech just here. Uh, we're obviously not going to be able to get access to every single classroom today, and that's one area that we don't particularly want to get access to, as it has had a, obviously a very specific deep clean in there. Uh, we've also got the technology block just here that goes into the science block behind, and then part of the main building over here that houses languages, which we'll see later along with science and tech, and also maths and art. Uh, up, up around here as well. So we'll go into the main buildings in just a moment, but on our way around to do that, we'll take a long route actually, have a look at Russell Field, the main fields, and back to the main school entrance so you can get a really good feel for the size of the school.
Okay, so welcome to Hitchin Boys School AstroTurf. Uh, this is one of the main uh, areas for our PE department to deliver their curriculum. Uh, we're very proud of our, our sporting traditions here at Hitchin Boys School, and those traditions are basically uh, principled upon, um, among the idea that we're going to introduce to you perhaps some sports that you may not get access to as easily uh, outside of school. So we offer rugby as the main sport in the autumn term, hockey in the spring and cricket and athletics uh, in the summer. We also get involved in lots of other uh, sports. We've got lots of table tennis tables in the, in the, in the, in the new gym, for example, badminton as well. And, and any sport that you're particularly interested in, we will try to help you with. Uh, but some of you may already recognise this AstroTurf from sessions you do, because we do rent it out in the evenings. So some of you may play on it as part of five-a-side clubs or perhaps parents as part of Fathers for Football which is based here in Hitchin. So we're also very fortunate here at Hitchin Boys School to not have to have not just, just one gym, but two. Uh, so they're both locked up, obviously, for, for the COVID-19 at the moment. But this is the old gym, uh, which, as you can see, is still a very big space. And our new gym, which is just off, off, off the actual main school entrance. Many of you may have already visited it as part of clubs, because uh, it's rented out in the evenings, is about two, two, two and a half times as big. Okay, so here we are in the Year 8 playground, which is just adjacent to the Year 7 playground and just next to the J block uh, where you have all your form rooms over to the right there. So if you come with me, we're going to have a look at N3, which is where you can go at lunch times for homework club, an opportunity to sit down quietly, get all that homework done on site if that's your preference. Or alternatively, if you have any questions, um, and you need uh, to ask somebody, there'll be members of staff in there that you can do that with. Okay. Before we go into N3 just here, we also have the back entrance of the old gym here. Uh, we have classrooms N1, N2, which is sometimes uh, you know, in use. Um, and then we've got the back of the, of the canteen just down there where sometimes that's open in the mornings for you to get access from the canteen where you can get uh, a, pa a pastry all the way up to the junior school playground. But let's go into N3 where you can get that homework support. Okay, so this is N3. It's a little bit smaller than a normal classroom and that's because it's not used as a classroom. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. There are no lessons that ever take place in here, but it is where uh, you can find one or two members of staff at lunchtime, uh, sometimes uh, some of our senior prefects in sixth form, and you can come in and get a bit of support with homework or any aspect of your lessons that you find difficult. Um, obviously you can ask your teachers, but sometimes teachers are on duty or they're running clubs, in which case this is a good place to come as a secondary measure to get that little bit of support. Okay, all right, we're going to go now uh, and have a look around where we can find the Special Educational Needs Coordinator. 
Okay, so this is schoolhouse building and the entrance of schoolhouse from the year eight, year seven playground area. Uh, inside here, there's no teaching that takes place, uh, but there is some key offices that we'll show you, uh, just in case you have any questions of, uh, of certain people. And one of those people is Miss Phillips, who's our off-site trips coordinator. So any questions about trips you might have or trips that are coming up, uh, you, your son can pop along, give a knock on the door to Miss Phillips and she'll be able to answer those for you. Just through here, we have one of the most important offices in the school, and that's the office of the Special Educational Needs Coordinator, Mr. Wilson. And again, any students who have any questions about uh, perhaps uh, you know, work that they've done and if they have a special educational need, can pop to see Mr. Wilson and he can offer some support. Um, or a member of his team can. And then just a bit further down. We have the school office and you'll notice there's a letterbox in here so if you've got any um, you know returns of permissions um, you know or, or perhaps monies to pay for things such as non-uniform days to support charities pop it in an envelope with your son's name on and you can just pop it through there okay um, and that pretty much sums up schoolhouse building So as well as the old gym, uh, we also have the, what we call the new sports centre, new sports hall. So as most of you would have known when you came around on various open day tours, we're very fortunate here at Hitchin Boys to benefit from not one, but two indoor sports areas. This is the larger of the two. Uh, this is our new sports hall, as we call it. And it's big enough to have a full-size basketball court on it. Or instead, you could have three uh, badminton courts. Okay, so from the main sports hall here, we're going to head back down to the front of school and go and have a look at some final areas uh, inside the main school buildings before ending in the main hall. So here we are at the main reception area. Now just a reminder, this is not where you come on your first day on the 2nd of September. That's obviously at the top of the gate that we've just been to. Uh, but any other time, if you know your parent needs to come and visit the school, this is where you come to get access to speak to reception staff. Here we have the library, which we're just going to pop into in a moment. You may remember it from open day, open morning. And we also have sit bay just there. And for the students, uh, not parents, reception entrance just there. But let's go into the library, which is one of the oldest parts of the school. So here we are in the library. Uh, as you can see, it's currently undergoing uh, a really deep clean. We're looking at cleaning every single book, um, obviously because of the current situation. Um, but you can also see there are a huge array of books here. And Year 7s will have one library lesson a week to really get them continuing with their reading and developing their comprehension. Uh, the library itself is really quite historic. As you can see, we've got a lot of stained glass windows, some of them 
donated by um, previous students and parent society. Uh, a lot depicting um, students who've, you know, former students of Hitchin Boys School who have given their lives in, in, in the defence of this country, World War I, World War II. And that's something we take very, very seriously when it comes to Remembrance Day in November. Okay, so before we leave the library fully um, and go and look at the canteen, just want to remind you that the library is somewhere you can come at lunch times and break times to take books out, have a quiet area. There are a small number of computers you can make use of as well. And our two librarians are absolutely fantastic at looking at ways to engage students in, in you know, improving their wider reading and supporting them with all of that. Okay, so this is the main quad. Uh, this is like the central hub of the school. Uh, and obviously you've got some of the older buildings around here that house a lot of our uh, classrooms uh, for many different subjects. So we have the main hall over there. Okay, and then panning round, we have art on the bottom floor with maths on the top floor. Maths continues all the way around. Um, on the top floor until this final section where we have one of our three computer suites and then on the bottom floor down here is the part of the dining hall that we're about to enter and also another of our computer suites just over 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 the, over the opposite side of the quad just there but let's go have a look in the dining room uh, as we pass the stationery shop which is where you can get any essential stationery items between 8 30 and 8 45 monday to fridays So as well as the pod, which you've already mentioned, that's located in the Year 7 playground, we also have this main canteen where students can get a much wider range of meals, including the hot meal of the day and the associated pudding. Uh, students can also check their balance. Okay, It's all a biometric system, so it's done using the thumb. And we will be arranging for students to have their thumbprint taken when they join us in September get that all set up and students can both check their balance and also um, add, any, add any money as well uh, to their account just there. Again, using their thumbprint. Uh, and then obviously sit down once they've got their food with their friends and, and enjoy their, their break and their lunchtime. Uh, we have got another section to the canteen just around there. So it can ho house quite a, a large number of students with the expansion that we're undergoing at the moment. Here we are into the main building. Uh, it's one of a couple of different entrances, but the one that's open today for us. And you can see that this is where we have a lot of our boards uh, to celebrate some of the successes of many of our students, including this one, which is our senior prefect board, which de details all of our head boys over the years.
for uh, creative arts, uh, music, drama, uh, PE, massive parts of our curriculum that we're really proud of. Um, and we're really proud to have these three new refurbished art rooms. Uh, this is one of them, and we'll pass through into another one in just a moment. Okay, so this is one of our many maths rooms. You may have noticed actually that some of the chairs change colour. Uh, maths has blue chairs um, and languages, for example, has red chairs. Geography has brown chairs, science, uh, uh, sorry, English has green chairs and science has stools. So sometimes actually the colour of the chairs can give you an indication as to what area of the school you're actually in. Um, but this is, this is maths as determined by the fact that we are partly have blue chairs. Uh, maths is one of the only two subjects where you'll be setted uh, almost straight away. So at the end of the first half term, around October, you'll sit a maths test and then after half term you'll be put into different groups according to your ability level in maths and that will enable the maths department to really support you and develop your maths uh, accordingly. The other department which looks at putting you into different ability groups quite early on is the PE department and they will put you into platinum, gold, silver or bronze group depending on you know, your overall sporting ability. So, and that's a key point with the, uh, the P department, it's about your overall sporting uh, ability. Sometimes students are very, very adept at one particular sport but they're looking at a range of factors. Okay, so here we are on what we call the bridge. Now before we um, talk about the science department, which we're about to enter, just over to our left is North Court, which we saw a bit earlier. Um, and then over to our right, uh, we've got the main fields, and you might just catch a glimpse of the uh, outdoor classroom. So just to get your bearings, uh, we're, we're, we're very much on that bridge between the main school building and over into science and tech. Okay, so science uh, we're in now, we'll go into one of the science labs downstairs, but basically we're broadly split into chemistry, which is upstairs just to our left, uh, physics, which is just to my right, and biology, which is downstairs. But when you join in September, you'll just be looking at a broader science curriculum. So you'll just have science on your timetable. It's not until you get to GCSE that we start separating into the physics, the chemistry, and the biology. But this is how it's separated in terms of the classroom.
Okay, welcome to a science lab. Uh, this is actually Mr. Cook's science lab. He's the head of uh, science and also a biologist. Uh, but as you can see, science labs are all kitted out with uh, many sinks, gas taps, and therefore have uh, a particular health and safety aspect to them. So generally students are not allowed into science labs unattended without a member of staff present. Um, Okay, so this is uh, our final uh, curriculum area uh, that we're going to look at today, which is design and technology. This is one of our technology rooms, which no surprise, with all the equipment around. But of course, it's a bit more uh, different than what I remember when I was a student in technology, in that you don't just have the old woodwork benches with the clamps, but these days you obviously have the software for designing the, uh, the, the, the products. So computer aid design software perhaps on there as well, and a lot more different machinery available for the students to use uh, to make those products. Okay, so this is the final stop on our, on our brief tour of Hitchin Boys School. We came here earlier when we went into art just there, and then later we went up to the maths department up those stairs. But to end our tour, we're going to go into the main hall just here. So, welcome to Hitchin Boys School's main hall. Uh, for me, one of the most impressive rooms at the school. Uh, it's also the home of the four houses. So we have Pearson with its flag. We have Mattock down the bottom with its flag. We have Radcliffe with its grey flag. And we have Skinner with its flag down the bottom corner. Um, in, under each flag, we also have the trophy cabinet with the appropriate coloured felt to represent each house and the trophies that they've won at that particular moment. Um, and this is where we also have our main school assemblies. So this is where we get up to two year groups together to do a main school assembly, which will happen once a week on average uh, during most of the academic year. This is also the room where students will take a lot of their GCSE and A-level exams at the moment. So there are certain times of the year when we don't have assemblies, but when we do have assemblies in here, students enter in absolute silence and they can uh, enjoy the pastoral assemblies that the staff put on for them. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining us on our brief tour of Hitchin Boys School. We are very, very sorry that you're not able to be here in person on 9th of July, and we do hope you're looking forward to joining us eventually, uh, which we expect to be the 2nd of September. But of course we have to wait and see what future announcements come out but that's what we're planning for you joining us on the 2nd of september to do your transition day as you would have done on the 9th of july and then we can hopefully ease, ease you into life at hitching boys school and get you to be one of the many fantastic hitching boys of the future thank you very much <laughs>